problems with this, right? <laughs> Good evening. All righty. Well, we've got a few little things here to, I know, right? They know I'm a teacher by heart, and teachers <laughs> love the feedback. Um, so this is a, a report out on what's going on, some communication. So again, our, this year, our theme is Mission Possible, and our destination is Excellence. So this week, we were celebrating, um, actually last week, while um, fall break was going on, October 16th through the 20th was National School Bus Safety Week. And so we're just celebrating our bus drivers today. Um, and so we wanna say thank you to our amazing bus drivers for keeping our students safe and sound. Your hard work and dedication do not go unnoticed. Thank you for being an essential part of our school community. And we had a parent, and we have several parents that send in nice things, but we chose them to put this quote up here. Thank you very much to bus 147. You guys are awesome. My son and I really appreciate all you do, unit four parent. So since we were on fall break last week, um, our creative HR department implemented Bus Driver Appreciation Day. We create our own day today. Um, so they serve lunch to the entire transportation team. And so you can see pictures of our folks um, smiling um, and just feeling appreciated and letting them know that they're awesome. So let's give it up for our, all of our uh, bus drivers and monitors. This next one gives me great pleasure. I love this picture. Um, Garden Hills Principal wins award. Um, NAACP honored Champagne Principal, our very own Dr. Asia Fuller Hamilton, um, was honored um, at the Freedom Fund Banquet and um, she was recognized for building up um, parent involvement, um, parent and community involvement um, at Garden Hills Academy. And I sent her a little note and told her I was so sad I couldn't be there. Um, you know, I have to be a nanny first, and my grandbaby had her first birthday party, so I had to go there. Um, but I really wanted, my heart was here with um, Dr. Fuller Hamilton, and she is a gem. So let's give it up for her and her unrelenting way of, she is excellence. She believes, she believes in excellence, and is, uh, it's definitely an award well-deserved. Um, also, um, gosh, the week before we went on fall break, I had the distinct pleasure and the fun of going around to several of our schools. Um, our Champaign-Urbana School Foundation Board of Directors, um, we were able to deliver um, souvenir checks totaling more than $92,000 to teachers in both Champaign Unit 4 and Urbana 116. And of course, I only went to Unit 4 um, schools. And so they were so grateful, and we are so grateful for the support. So this is a few of the pictures, um, the smiles and the fun we had. Um, some of the students, of course, at the high school and middle school don't want to jump in pictures with their teachers you know it's like it's, I said I prop, we, can, we can do a TikTok, and they're like nah but it was it was great to, to do this and so um, all 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 types of our teachers new teachers band teachers um, FLS teachers um, MLL teachers it was just an outstanding day and it was just what I needed um, to be out and amongst our teachers um, rewarding them for great work and the grants that they wrote to support the work we have going on. So give it up for our teachers. Um, Maroon Swim Team winner of back-to-back -back championships. Um, Central High School's swim team brought home the Big 12 Championship trophy last weekend. Um, and the week prior to that, they defended their title to win the 2023 um, Twin City. Um, and I always tell the girls, I said, I, all I can do is just watch from a distance because um, I cannot swim. Um, I like to play in the water, but they, they are amazing. So if you get a chance to watch um, our girls, um, the Maroons or the Chargers, please do so. Um, they are outstanding, and I, I want to just give it up for our, our Maroons, our swim team champions. Um, the Chargers girls cross country team were crowned regional champs. So this is exciting. Um, this was over fall break as well. So we've got some, we got a picture that we found on here, the girls cross country regional champions. And so we're really proud of the Chargers. So give it up for them. All I can run is my mouth. Just saying. Um, also with Maroons boys soccer team wins the regional championship. Um, their, their soccer team are the regional champs, so we just want to say great job and awesome job to the team and to the coaches. Way, way to go. And if you like football, which I do, 
Um, you can watch our Centennial Chargers. They're in a playoff game on this Saturday at Creek Monet or Moni. Creek Moni. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. I had this conversation already. Monet, Moni. <laughs> That's why I looked at Dr. Harden. He used to be there. Um, yeah. Um, so the game is this Saturday at 1 o'clock. Um, so let's go cheer on our Chargers um, in their football playoff game. It's not just the big kids. Got some little ones doing some great things as well. We have a Kenwood third grader breaks the school record. So I just want to shout out our third grader um, student, Muhammad. Um, he's at Kenwood. He set a new half-mile course record at Kenwood's annual cross-country race. He ran a half a mile in three minutes and 23 seconds. <laughs> yes. The, we got him. I don't know if he's going to be a maroon or a charger, but whatever. We, we got him. We're changing him right out. We're, we're, we're training him now. So the previous record, um, half-mile uh, course record, was set in 2015. Um, and that student ran 3.25, so he broke it down by two, two seconds, two-tenths of a second or something like that. And two seconds, yes, two seconds. This race has been going on for over 25 years. Did you know that? Now you do. All right. Congratulations, Mohammed. This one here is one of my absolute, this is my heart right here. Um, the AVID student college visit, and we're going to bring them back to do a presentation about AVID because um, one of my goals is to have AVID district-wide um, for Unit 4, and we're well on our way. So a group of our students participated in the AVID program, went on a college tour last week during the fall break, and they toured some HBCUs, for those who don't know, historically black colleges and universities in New Orleans. Um, and so they received personal tour by the president at Dillard University. Um, they had the time of their lives. They're like all like, this is what we need to do. And these are the kind of things that we want to make sure our students have access to because there's a whole world outside of Champaign. Um, and we want our students all to find a place in which they belong. And so I want to shout out to Dr. Angela Ward, um, to um, Sydney and um, over at Centennial and also Liza Thomas and there's someone from Cent was it Central or just Centennial and Shamanika Cobb and Liza Aikman yes they took the time when they could have been on break and took students on this tour um, and they had a wonderful um, time and so we just want to say we're, we're excited about this um, endeavor was it Dr. Kimbrough at Dillard the president we'll talk later yeah, I have a picture right here, and I can't. Yeah, yeah. So we have some other amazing HBCUs in, in the works that are wanting to really partner with us in Unit 4 um, and helping to create pathways for our students. Um, so I got more of that coming, too, because there's a place for everybody. So we want to make sure that we give everyone an opportunity um, to find their place and their voice. So we're really excited about that one. Um, that's what it's all about. All righty, and we're excited because we had Choose Your Own Adventure Professional Learning Day. Um, on October 12th, all of our certified and some of our non-certified staff um, participated in professional development learning sessions that were created just for them. They took advantage of more than 20 sessions that were offered. We had administrators, our own administrators, some of our own teachers. We had community partners leading some of the sessions. Um, so I really believe in growing our staff because it's imperative when we grow our staff, it really is imperative to the success of our students and to our system as a whole. So professional development is powerful. You don't go to a doctor who has not been to school or honed their craft. Uh, if you find somebody that's still back in the antiquated ways, you move on to something different. So why not pour that same love and attention into our teachers, and they deserve it, and our, our non-certified staff as well. So thank you to our professional development learning team, our TNL team, all of Cabinet, for doing an amazing job of making sure this day is happening. Um, and we do it at least twice a year, where they get to choose from uh, wherever they want to go. Um, and the greatest part about it is some of the, our teachers are leading the sessions themselves. So thank you. Um, also, I want to remind everyone that our annual report 
is now available. The 2022-2023 annual report is now available online. It's filled with highlights and accomplishments from the past year. Um, you will see this year's report as an interactive flip book, so you can look at it and see all the great things that are happening. Um, print versions are also going to be available soon. Um, what we want to do is now also start hitting some of our folks who may not be technologically savvy and some of our community members that we want to go back to community mailings. So we're going to, you know, send out some of those to our, to our community because people need to know the great things that are happening. We need to tell our story and show our story. Okay, so thanks to the communication department, job well done. Um, also, last Wednesday, while some people were like on vacation or a break or whatever, I had the distinct pleasure to participate um, in joining the Vision 2030 Working Group in Springfield. Um, the Vision 2030 Working Group, will con it consisted of 42 superintendents from each of the IASA um, 21 regions, along with representatives from different um, educational organizations in Illinois. And so in each region, nominate a representative, and I was nominated, and I accepted my nomination, and I had the time of my life. Um, we will have two more convenings, um, and this work is so crucial um, because in order for us to be successful as public education across the state of Illinois, there has to be some changes made. So we even discussed the impact of all the state mandates um, that, w that happened for all of the, the public schools in, in Illinois um, on all of our educators. And I don't know if anyone knew this, but I didn't. I was like last week old when I understood that over the past 40 years, there have been more than 700 mandates put upon our schools, public schools, and only four of them were funded. 700, okay? So the Vision 2030, the whole idea is to create a policy brief document, um, and we wanna enact some, en enact some state policies and pass local board resolutions, so that's why I'm bringing it to you now, because the goal is we're gonna pass some resolutions and bring them to all of our local school boards so that we can make some changes in public education. So the working groups were student success, and it focused on state and local policies related to teaching and learning that ensures all students reach their full potential. So what does that look like and how do we do that? We gotta get away with some of our antiquated ways in which we do things in schools. Um, we had educator excellence, which is one of the, um, that's the working group that I'm a part of. And we focused on state and local policies related to profession of K-12 public education. How do we restore the joy and how do we restore the professionalism um, everything around teaching? for our educators um, because it has now become a place where there's a lack of respect. So what do we need to do in order to, to uh, change that? Um, how do we get more teachers, teachers of color? Um, how do we do some things different with licensure? Um, how do we uh, retain our teachers? There's a lot of that's going into this work and so I'll be bringing some more of those things back to you. We also had accountability working group and they focused on state and local policies related to governance. Um, and the function of public education, um, and what does that look like? And that's when we found, we talked about those mandates that everyone is putting out there for us to do. And um, so we'll talk more about that as well. And then there was a finance and funding, and that focus was on state and local policies to support adequate, equitable, and sustainable funding of Illinois public schools. And I think for me, the piece that was the best, all this work is seeped in equity. So that was what was so powerful for me. So. Um, and, and I can't wait to bring more of this information back. So sometime in November, there's gonna be a survey that's gonna go out to all educators and public um, bodies, and bodies and entities, and probably parents as well, asking some crucial questions. And then we'll take that information and we'll start to craft some policies and things of that nature that we'll bring back, we'll be, we will bring back um, so to vote on and to discuss. So I'm really excited about this work. It was a full day um, and it was amazing, so. Just want to give you an update on that. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Um, okay, the new teacher sign-on bonus. So we have $1,500 sign-on bonus. There's criteria, so join our team. This is an amazing team and a great district to work in. And so, Ken, Mr. Kleber, yes. if I am interested in this, can you tell me what I need to do, please? Actually, it's as easy as scanning that QR code right there, Dr. <laughs> Boozer. Um, or you could visit us online, champagneschools.org slash employment. Um, in addition to this, we also have one uh, sign-on bonus that we've announced previously for our bus drivers. Um, and so we're, we're trying to respond to uh, some things that other districts are doing and trying to create some new opportunities for folks who might be interested in joining us. 
Excellent. And so we also will have a study session coming in in the upcoming future regarding the teacher shortage grant that we were awarded and how we're going to use that and give you more information around that as well. And so for this new teacher sign on bonus, if all the criteria is not met, the bonus will if, if it is all met, the bonus will be paid after 30 days of work. So um, there's criteria that's set there. And if you meet the criteria 30 days after work, you'll get your bonus. So thank you, board, for helping us with that one. Um, transportation reimbursement program, just a reminder to all eligible families should visit the web page for more details. Um, this is for families of yellow bus, yellow bus school drive riders who are eligible to participate in the district transportation re reimbursement. You can still apply. We encourage families who are eligible to participate by driving your children to and from school. Families who opt in will receive a reimbursement from Unit 4 schools. Eligibility for yellow bus transportation is determined if a student lives 1.5 miles or more of their assigned school. And we do have a designated person in charge of this. So if you have questions, please visit our website or give, is it Georgia, Georgia a call. Um, and we want to say thank you to all the families who are currently participating and thank you to those who may decide to opt in soon. Um, the next thing we have for you is the attendance postcards. It's that time again. They're coming out again Thursday. Um, last time we talked, we did a run, and so they're going to come out the last Thursday of every month, and I cannot believe that's this week. Um, and so it just is a reminder of your child's attendance, an update on it, where you are. Um, it's, it'll be a text message to all of our parents and guardians. Families will also receive a text message on Wednesday as a reminder that these messages are not a spam and it's, it's a real deal. Um, the information on the postcard is actual days out of school for any reason, excused or unexcused. So if you have any questions, please contact your child's principal. Okay, just another way in which we're trying to promote um, attendance. And that's all I have. Thank you. I don't think I sent it to you and your staff, but I just listened to an ARA Brown lecture mm -hmm. by Dr. Leslie Fenwick, mm -hmm. sp specifically on policies mm -hmm. that were enacted prior to, uh, I mean, they, they went historic, mm -hmm. but thinking about even today how they might provide more equitable <laughs> policies because of the teacher shortage. So I'll be sure to send that to you all. I think that's a, it was a, really good listen to and there are people that are doing this work so I wonder if that committee might be interested in awesome. teaming up with them and us really doing some really good things for not just our state but the community as well.